Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says evaluate the following integral integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x upon sin x plus cos x dx. Let us see how we can evaluate this integral. First of all we assume let i be equal to the given integral which is integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x upon sin x plus cos x dx. We have a property which says that integral 0 to a fx dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So, using this property in the above given i, we get i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square. Now, in place of x, we will put a minus x, that is pi by 2 minus x. So, in the numerator, it would be sin square pi by 2 minus x upon sin pi by 2 minus x plus cos pi by 2 minus x dx. Now, this becomes i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos x plus sin x dx. Since we know that sin pi by 2 minus x is equal to cos x and cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin x and so sin square pi by 2 minus x is equal to cos square x. So, using these results we get i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos x plus sin x dx. Now, we assume this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now, next we shall add equations 1 and 2. So, adding equations 1 and 2 we get i plus i that is 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x upon sin x plus cos x dx plus integral 0 to pi by 2 cos square x upon cos x plus sin x dx. So, this becomes 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 sin square x plus cos square x upon sin x plus cos x dx. Now, we know that sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Therefore, using this result, in this 2i, we get 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 dx upon sin x plus cos x. Since we have the sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. Now, let's write sin x and cos x in terms of tan x upon 2. So, sin x is equal to 2 tan x upon 2 upon 1 plus tan square x upon 2 and cos x can be written as 1 minus tan square x upon 2 upon 1 plus tan square x upon 2. Thus, using these values of sin x and cos x, in this 2i, we get 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 dx upon, now in place of sin x, we will use this value, that is 
2 tan x upon 2 upon 1 plus tan square x upon 2 plus cos x. We will use this value for cos x that is 1 minus tan square x upon 2 upon 1 plus tan square x upon 2. Now we take let tan x upon 2 be equal to t. Now differentiating both sides with respect to x we get 1 upon 2 into sec square x upon 2 dx is equal to dt which means that dx is equal to 2 dt upon sec square x upon 2 which is 1 plus tan square x upon 2 that is 1 plus t square since we are taken tan x upon 2 as t and we know that 1 plus tan square x is equal to sec square x. So we have got the value for dx. Now the limits will also change accordingly like when we have x is equal to 0 then t would be equal to tan 0 since t is equal to tan x upon 2 and in place of x we put 0 and this is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 0, t is equal to 0. Now when x is equal to the upper limit that is pi by 2, then t would be equal to tan pi by 4 since t is equal to tan x upon 2 and in place of x we put pi by 2 and tan pi by 4 is 1. So we get t is equal to 1 when x is equal to pi by 2. So now the limits would change from 0 to pi by 2 to 0 to 1. Thus we get 2i is equal to integral 0 to 1. Now in place of dx we would put 2 dt upon 1 plus t square. So 2 upon 1 plus t square dt and this whole upon 2t upon 1 plus t square that is in place of tan x upon 2 here, we will put t plus 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square. So this gives us 2i is equal to integral 0 to 1, 2 dt upon 2t plus 1 minus t square. This means we have 2i is equal to minus 2 integral 0 to 1 dt upon t square minus 2t minus 1. That is we take minus common from the denominator and 2 common from the numerator. So outside the integral we get minus 2. So this gives us 2i is equal to minus 2 integral 0 to 1 dt upon t square minus 2t. The minus 1 can be written as minus 2 plus 1. So, this further gives us 2i is equal to minus 2 integral 0 to 1 dt upon now t square minus 2t plus 1 is t minus 1 whole square minus 2 can be written as root 2 whole square. Now we can cancel this 2 with this 2. So we get i is equal to minus integral 0 to 1 dt upon t minus 1 whole square minus root 2 whole square. We have the formula integral dx upon x square minus a square is equal to 1 upon 2a log modulus x minus a upon x plus a. So using this formula in this value for i we get i is equal to minus 1 upon 2 into a. Now here a is root 2 log modulus x minus a. Now x in this case would be t minus 1. So t minus 1 minus root 2 upon x plus a that is t minus 1 plus root 2. 
and here the limit start from 0 to 1. This means we get i is equal to minus 1 upon 2 root 2 log modulus. Now first we will put the upper limit that is 1. 1 minus 1 minus root 2 upon 1 minus 1 plus root 2 minus log modulus. Now we will put the lower limit that is 0 in place of t. 0 minus 1 minus root 2 upon 0 minus 1 plus root 2. From here we have i is equal to minus 1 upon 2 root 2 log modulus minus root 2 upon root 2 minus log modulus 1 plus root 2 upon 1 minus root 2. This further gives us i equal to minus 1 upon 2 root 2 log modulus minus 1 minus log modulus 1 plus root 2 upon 1 minus root 2. This further gives us i equal to minus 1 upon 2 root 2, this whole into 0 minus log modulus 1 plus root 2 upon 1 minus root 2. Now, since we know that log of modulus minus 1 is equal to log 1 which is equal to 0. So, here we have got 0. Now, from here we have i is equal to minus 1 upon 2 root 2 into minus log modulus 1 plus root 2 upon 1 minus root 2. Now we multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 plus root 2. Now from here we have i is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2 into log modulus 1 plus root 2 whole square upon minus 1. So this gives us i is equal to 1 upon 2 root 2 log modulus 1 plus root 2 whole square again since we know that log of modulus minus 1 is equal to log 1 which is equal to 0. From here we get i is equal to 2 upon 2 root 2 into log 1 plus root 2. Since we know log a to the power n is equal to n into log a. Now this 2 cancels with this 2. So we get i is equal to 1 upon root 2 log 1 plus root 2. This is the value for i. And thus we get integral 0 to pi by 2 sine square x upon sine x plus cos x dx is equal to 1 upon root 2 log 1 plus root 2. This is our final answer. So with this we complete this session. Hope you have understood the solution for this question.